Windows Vista. Released in January 2007, it was set to revolutionize Windows completely, as the last Windows version before, Windows XP, was already 6 years old. But the release was a disaster. Windows Vista was slow on older hardware because of its high system requirements and a lot of legacy programs and hardware drivers often didn't work. Because all of this, most people just stayed with XP and didn't switch. Today, most people still remember Windows Vista as one of the worst, if not the worst Windows version ever. So in this video, I will use Windows Vista in 2025 and find out what still works today and if Windows Vista was really so bad. Let's start. Windows Vista. Today we're going to try it. It was one of the most unpopular Windows versions because at the start as it came out in 2007 it had a very large amount of problems. So we're going to try today if Windows Vista was really so bad or if it just had a rough start. So to try Windows Vista we're going to look around the OS, look what there is to do in Windows Vista and after we're going to look at how, what you can do in Windows Vista in 2025. We're going to do these tasks here. So Windows Vista was the first Windows version that introduced a search function. So if I would search for Internet Explorer, for example, I could open this here and we would have our Internet Explorer window here. In previous Windows versions, this was not as easy. You didn't have a proper search function here at the bottom. Windows Vista introduced this. And Windows Vista also introduced the much loved arrow theme, which you can see here. This classy look here at the windows and also here in the start menu which was much loved by the users of Windows 7, but Windows Vista was actually the first Windows version that introduced this. Windows Media Player. Yeah, this was the default media player in older Windows versions, older than Windows 10. And this already actually had music preloaded. Didn't know that. Interesting. Windows Ultimate Extras. Okay. Windows Photo Gallery. Interesting, this also had photos preloaded and this had an extra photo gallery app. Let's open this. We have some pictures here. Windows DVD Maker. Share your memories on a DVD. Okay, so you burn DVDs with this program. Okay, don't need that anymore today. Windows Calendar. Yeah, it's just an old calendar. So let's close this again. Let's try to do the first task. Let's try to browse the internet. For that I have installed a browser that works on Windows Vista and XP that is Supremium. And if we open this now, we can see this looks like modern Google Chrome. And if I go here to settings and go to about Supremium, we can see here that this is the version 132 of Chromium, which is actually pretty new. This is actually really cool that this works on operating system this old so browsing the internet here shouldn't be a problem okay so now we're going to try to just browse the internet let's go to google.com and let's search for youtube let's open youtube here let's look for windows vista now we can see here we can just open the youtube video so now we can see here that youtube works fine it's actually pretty usable here you could totally use youtube on windows vista so the internet is working totally fine this browser is pretty new you can just open the web store here for example search and add your chrome extensions so this actually works so yeah browsing the internet is a task that we can totally do in windows vista in 2025 so let's try to edit photos. For that I have a GIMP setup file here for a GIMP version that is a bit older and we're going to try to install this. Completing the GIMP setup finished. Okay, so let's open GIMP 2 now. And as you can see, it works. I think it's still loading. For some reason, the sidebars here are not loading. Yeah, so normally you should have the tools here on the right and you could do something else besides than drawing. I don't know why they aren't there here. They should be there. All the tools are up here and not here in the sidebar. Um, maybe they are turned off by default, but I don't really know how to turn them on. So we're just going to leave it like this, but GIMP is installing on Windows Vista. Yeah, and if I open the browser again, I can look for a Windows Vista image. We can just take this here, a Windows Vista logo. We could save the image, open the Explorer and open the downloads folder and just pull this one in here. So and now we can scale the image like this, scale it and now it's in the normal size. But uh, GIMP actually works so we can say that we 
actually can edit photos in Windows Vista. So let's try the Windows Media Center. Windows Media Center, your display is running at a very high resolution that may cause performance problems. Okay, so I can use my keyboard here, my arrow keys to navigate through this menu. So this here seems like kind of a app which you can use to watch your videos. And I think if you have movies on here, you can make like kind of your own streaming platform. And you can look at your photos here, which are all the Windows Vista sample pictures which I can uh, navigate through here. This is actually really, really cool made. The animations are nice. Looks like early 2010s because of the 3D effects here, but I actually think it's really cool. Windows doesn't have anything like this nowadays. I can play a slideshow. Here you can burn DVD and you can also shut down your PC with this. Yes, record a TV with this play. Here's also music, so you can listen to the music which is already here, the sample music which we already saw in the Windows Media Player. Oh, you can play games in here. These are the Windows Vista games, which we will also look at later. You can actually launch them from here. Okay, so the game also directly launches in full screen. I actually have no idea how to play this game, so we will close this game again. Maybe you could just connect to a TV or something and use this with a remote. I don't know, but it's actually interesting. So let's close this app again. So now we will uh, try to edit text and for this I already looked for a program which would work for this. We're going to install OpenOffice which is just basically a free and open source office suite which is similar to LibreOffice. So let's install it. Allow. Next. Unpack. Next. 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 Install. Finish. So let's start OpenOffice. Text document. So OpenOffice actually looks a bit older than LibreOffice. Let's just write something down, like subscribe, make it bigger, do it in size 80, make it red. And yes, so, uh, but you can basically just edit text documents like in modern operating systems in Windows Vista. OpenOffice works totally fine. It's supported, the newest version of OpenOffice is installed here. This is actually pretty cool. So we can also check this one that we can edit text. But before we get to the next point let's just try the games which are integrated in windows vista games so i remember windows vista actually had a chess game which was actually pretty pretty good it has this 3d chess board yeah it's actually a really good chess game i'm not really good at chess so we are not going to continue to play this game here but if you would want to play chess on windows vista i think this is actually a pretty good option something that modern windows versions also don't have I'm sure that a lot of people miss these pre-installed games. I don't know how to play all these card games like Solitaire or Hearts. Minesweeper. Yeah. Minesweeper is actually a game that was on a lot of Windows versions. Yeah, we messed up. I don't know why the sound is so buggy here. Purple Place. Intermediate. Oh yeah, this was the game where you had to make cakes. I don't know why this text box is empty. I don't know if it should be that way. Probably not. Yeah, so we will have to take this round shape and then go to the next one and always look here what you need to put in here. Put this on. We can... Oh, we have to put this on. And then we can put this inside here, okay? And then we can take the pink topping here and put the smiley on top. Let's go, we did it. Interesting game, yes. Let's play ink ball. Okay, so we have to put the balls in the right holes. This seems to be pretty easy. Yes, we made the first one. Let's try the next round. Okay, we got the first one. Yes, we also got the next one. Okay, let's put the difficulty higher. Let's try novice. Okay, I understand. This is only one way. Okay, so let's... We have the first one. Now we have to try the second one. Okay, okay. We have two balls in. Okay, they can change the color if they touch the green blocks. 
So the green walls also have to go inside here. I'm sure you can change the color back. So this one is not allowed to go in the blue hole. No, stay there, stay there. Okay, we got this one. Let's up the difficulty again and try intermediate. Okay, these are a lot of walls now. Okay, we got the first one. Now we have to try the second one. No, that's the wrong one. Please go in there. Please go in the orange one. No, you lost. Ball entered the wrong hole. How does expert look? Oh no. Oh, okay. That was quick. Balls are moving much faster here as well. So I'm not really good at this game. Okay, we have to let them touch this one, I think. So this different game is actually pretty cool. I think my favorite was Ink Ball. And the chess game is also pretty good. Yeah, I actually don't know why they don't have these games anymore in modern Windows versions. I think Windows 7 was the last Windows that had these games here installed. So now let's try to edit a video. And for that, we're going to use the Windows Movie Maker. Yes, we have it here. So, okay, this looks really old and simple. We need to open the Explorer first, and then we need to find some sample videos. Let's look here for sample pictures, which is also going to work. Let's drag all of them inside here. Let's select all of them and put them inside here. And now I think we also have some sample videos. Videos, sample videos. Yes, we have some. This is a lake video, 2007 quality. Okay, this video is laggy somehow. Okay, so let's drag this one in here. And now let's start with the photos. We will drag this one inside of here. And then the lake one is not loading. Okay, maybe the video is too much for it somehow. So let's remove the video. Not responding. Restart the program. All kind of media is gone. Going to go back to the sample pictures and drag them all in. And now I'm going to put this one inside, and this one inside, and this one inside, this one inside, this one inside. And now we can play this video. And now they're all just getting played after each other like a slideshow. How can I change the time? Effects. Blur. Add the blur inside here, and if I press OK, the first picture is going to get blurred. But what does this do? Oh, maybe I can put a transition here. Transitions. Oh yeah, we have some here. Let's take this diamond. Yeah, we can place it here. And now this will make a beautiful transition. So we can just put some random transitions inside here. Effects. What can we do here? We can blur. We can speed up spin. How does this look? Okay, so the next picture is spinning now. How can I change the time of this? Can I just make it shorter? Properties? Duration. How do I change the duration? Okay, not here. Titles and credits. Title at the beginning. Windows. Movie. Beauty. Add title. Beautiful. <laughs> on this blue screen. Title overlay on the selected clip. So if I select this one here, subscribe, add title. Oh, now we have a proper timeline. Overlay titles can be added in the timeline view. Okay, so now we have the title on top of this. But it's interesting that the title overlay has its own section here and it's not on top of this. Now we can change the duration of the clips. Ah, okay, okay. We're getting professional here. Okay, so we can change the view here from storyboard to timeline. So if I now have this one here, can I put it down here? Yes, we can put it down here. So Windows Movie Beauty is displayed at the beginning with the pictures fading in and then subscribe. So let's go back to the storyboard view and let's put the next pictures inside. And now we're gonna choose some transitions for the next tier. Let's try this one, then this one, whirlwind, and stars. And let's choose this bird here. Okay, let's look at it first. Interesting. This is professional video editing. Make this one shorter, and this one, this one, this and this. Every transition is still here, and I have made the duration of each photo shorter. Now let's add some music. What do we have here? Let's play this one. Okay, let's choose this track. Let's import this one. Now let's go back to the timeline view and we have our music track here. So let's play this. This is the professionalest YouTube video I've ever seen. How can I change the volume? Yes, here. Let's adjust the volume. 
This is perfect. So we have made a video in Windows Vista. I have forgotten something. We have to add something to the end. Downloads and let's add the Windows Vista logo. Yes. And now let's add the Windows logo at the end. Now we can get back to the storyboard view and let's get a new transition for here. Let's choose this one. Now we're going to get back to the timeline view and now we can yeah select fade out here. So this should actually go dark. Nice. So now we're going to take the audio and make it shorter and let the volume fade out. Okay, that works perfectly. So publish movie, I think. Yeah, this computer. File name, movie. Publish it to videos next. Best quality for playback on my computer. Yes, publish. So it's rendering our first video and Windows Movie Maker on Windows Vista. Play movie when I click finish. Don't know why, but this Windows Media Player has problems playing any sort of video file. But we have the movie finished. So we actually could edit videos in Windows Vista with the default Windows Movie Maker. Drop a comment below if I should try to edit a real full video in Windows Movie Maker. All programs. Windows Contacts. Okay, nothing special here. Windows Meeting Space. Yes, continue setting up Windows Meeting Space. Continue. Set up people near me. Okay. Is this like the predecessor of Microsoft Teams? Calculator. So this is the Windows Vista calculator. Paint. Okay, so Paint has changed a bit to Windows 11, but overall pretty much the same. You can draw here, you can put some text here, you can draw some shapes here. This is a beautiful artwork, nothing too special here. So let's close it. Control panel. Okay, so the control panel actually looks similar to today. Recycle bin. So here we have the beautiful sound of emptying the recycle bin on Windows Vista. Yes. Now we can also try to install a um, VLC media player. Allow, install. And now we're going to let the installer run. Finish. Windows Vista also supports the newest version of VLC Media Player. Okay, so we could actually do all tasks here. So we could actually use Windows Vista in 2025 and do some basic computing stuff, but I wouldn't recommend to as Windows Vista is out of support. So Windows Vista isn't really recommended to use anymore. It's not a safe operating system. Windows Vista wasn't really a bad operating system. It just had some issues at the start when it launched, but overall it was a pretty solid operating system. It introduced a lot of stuff which Windows is still using today. Most of the stuff which Windows 7 was actually really loved for because um, Windows 7 actually didn't look so different from Windows Vista. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.